session that I will be presenting the digital and contemporary retailing. So now let me show you my screen. Okay, you all can see my screen, right? Okay, so I think you all can see my screen, isn't it? Okay, so today I'll be talking about this digital and contemporary retailing, whether they are substituting or complementary based on my um, research that I have done and also um, the opinion from me. So before that, let me introduce myself. So initially, um, this is my profile. Okay, my name is Xiao Wei. I'm a lecturer from Fakultas of business so the subject that i'm teaching um under this faculty will be um entrepreneurship and also retailing so yeah this is me okay so before that um you would might need to know that what is the differences between um digital retailing and contemporary retailing so most of the people they would thought that it's the same right Okay, so digital retailing and contemporary retailing, they look the same, they are actually um, earning profit, okay, uh, to run their businesses, but uh, to uh, based on theoretical or practically, they are actually um, not really the same. So first thing first, when it comes to your mind, what is digital retailing? Digital retailing, most of the time, they will, um, will need to think about online, okay, as you can see from the word, it's digital, right? So after that, they will uh, have a question like, um, is it the ease of finding what you need, okay? Then after that, did you feel that you could locate all the necessary information to make the right decision about the purchase? Lastly, it will be, was it more convenient when running to the store? So basically, when you talk about digital retailing, most of the people, they will jump up with all sorts of questions. Okay, so basically digital retailing, by having all these questions, they are actually at the heart of digital retailing. Why it will say so? Because digital retailing is people who are actually um, shop online. So we call them as digital retailing. All right, so over here, there are some definition about digital retailing, means that they will still need to go through the process like allowing their customer to interact with your website. And then from the website, you will need to actually provide step-by-step -step with a good guidance for your customer in order to ease them to make purchase by uh, making their payments as well. So from there, basically, most of the retailer, they will see that they have an opportunity over that. Why you would say so? Because nowadays, technology has become more and more stronger. Most of the time, retailer they want to um, having both um, different types of target market uh, from digital retailing side and also um, contemporary retailing. So digital retailing, based on the research, it has showed that, okay, from this pie chart, as you can see that, okay, most of the customer, they will find that they can shop 24 7 every day every time uh whichever whenever they want it they can shop it okay so after that they feel like uh, very convenient and also saving time and at the same time they can do like price comparison for example like when you are purchasing a ticket most of the time you can um actually do a price compare with a um, different airline before you make purchase right so this is digital retailing but <clears throat> later on i will talk about contemporary retailing Okay, contemporary retailing, I believe most of you will know what is contemporary retailing. Okay, contemporary retailing basically is a store. You're having a physical store, not a virtual store. So therefore, um, they would actually um, allowing customer to um, shop in. So we call them as contemporary retailing. Like all this, they are belonging to contemporary, contemporary retailing. Okay, so now whether they are substituting or complementary each other. It depends on the um, view of the business owner. Uh, I can say that it's actually a dilemma. There's 
no right or wrong answer. Some company they treat as substituting, some company they treat as complementary. But most of the retailer they will treat as in complementary. Take a look with this researcher, what they have said. Okay. In Netherlands, they treat it as um substituting. Means that in the short uh, the result has indicated that in the short run, e-shopping is unlikely to have a significant effect on purchase at centers, a uh, city center store. But for long run, they will substitute each other. Means that more customer, most probably, they rather to just shop from online. All right, okay. So, uh, it also depending on their culture and the nature of the businesses in Netherlands. Okay. Furthermore, consumer today frequently consult the internet before making a purchase from a store, and the city center constitute a source of information before an online purchase is made. So, lastly, the impact of this event, however, differ largely among the various retail categories and types of internet shopper. So therefore, researcher has stated that in different country, different retailer, they would uh, treat it as um, differently between substituting or complementary. So if you have um, read through um, newspaper recently, you have find that most of the contemporary retailer, they have closed down due to um, this pandemic and also they are uh, unable to pay for their rental and so on. So it falls to shut down. So one of the good thing about um, this uh, digital retailing in future, this image basically is showing you about the smart retailing shop. Even though they are having a contemporary retailing shop, but customer can still enjoy everything with um, digital. Like they're having a personalized touch screen display, meaning so that um, they can browse through it is something looks like a catalog. After that, they will have a Wi-Fi beacon. They will have a smart mirror to help the shopper with on-premise virtual shopping and a lots of digital item. Okay, so as a result, some of the retailer they can optimize their sales strategy by having digital retailing and as well as increasing uh, your profit if let's say you are um, using both digital retailing and also contemporary retailing uh, why would say that they will increase your profit because you are actually targeting a different set of customer for digital retailing most probably you, you will be targeting like um generation x generation y and generation z but for a real virtual store, uh, no, real physical store, maybe you can still also targeting uh, for like baby boomer that they want to feel and touch the product. So therefore, it can help you to increase your profit. So next, you, um, you will be able to provide customer with critical information. For example, if let's say you are having a digital um, retailing shop, basically from your virtual site, customer can easily to compare the pricing as well as um, who will be their competitor and then which platform that allows them to shop with a cheaper price. And then next one, they will can um, handle parts of the purchasing information online as well and also increase the service department sales. Lastly, they allow more time for integration and learning. So by all these things, basically there is um, no an exact answer for whether they are substituting each other or they are actually complementing each other. It depending on how the um, business owner, they treat this situation about it. If let's say you ask me from my opinion, I think that they are actually complementing each other. Okay, because uh, both of it, they will have their own advantages and also disadvantages. So you can say that, oh, you're having a digital retailing store, then you forget about your contemporary retailing store uh, because some customer, they will still prefer to touch and feel the product before they buy it. Okay, so yeah, basically this, I think, would be a very short session. Any question?
Yep, so far, any question that you would like to ask? Xiaohui, okay, uh, maybe you can talk more on looking at the, our syllabus for the retail management uh, degree or also diploma, right? How do you think our syllabus will be able to complement the e the, the trend of the emergence of uh, e retailing? Okay, by looking into the syllabus, basically we have subject that uh, will allow students to learn in a um, digital platform and also a uh, as a contemporary site. Meaning to say that for digital retailing, students will need to take subject like e-commerce, like IT and so on in order to make them to be um, like more familiarized. Whereas for the um, contemporary retailing, um, they will be learning about like how do they actually handle the store, like if let's say any situation or any incident happen, um, they would learn about it also including like security risk and so on uh, thank you very much for your reply most probably you can talk about um what other, you know, what kind of practical uh, activities or practical, uh, you know, knowledge that we can impart our, impart our students in, in our retail management courses? You are talking about the contemporary side and the di or digital side. Yes, yes, uh, both. yes, both. Yeah. Both basically, a uh, student they will have subject that will need them to do uh, some um, practical like. Let's say we talk about um digital retailing. Students will need to learn like how do they actually um design like website and how do they actually um attract customer like having those um advertising online. Whereas for the contemporary retailing, um basically students will learn like how do they actually um operate a store, and beside that. They will learn about subject like visual merchandising, like how do they actually do display um, in their store to attract um, customer to come in. Yeah, so basically these are the um, practical side that the student will learn. So apart from that, like student will also learn like if let's say next time they want to be an entrepreneur, they will learn like how do they actually um, start up their store um, from scratch like what do they actually need to prepare like for example they will need to like prepare business plan and then followed by what are the item that supposed to be covered inside their business plan okay thank you Xiao Hui. Uh, those are my questions uh, maybe uh, other uh, participants would like to raise their questions. Hi, good afternoon. Sorry, I just uh, joined in. I'm not sure whether earlier on have you presented this or not, but um, I would like to know, um, is this program, because nowadays uh, most of the uh, the business go online. So um, do you mind if you already explain, do you mind to repeat that uh, how this uh, help um, the student after they graduate if in the event that are more in online how this will help them all right so basically when the student graduate right um like let's say student that they, they want to work in like let's say lazada shopee 
or maybe um, Taobao, um, the student actually, um, they already have the knowledge because they have learned like those like um, practical during their study, uh, no matter in diploma or degree already. So um, it shouldn't be um, any problem on that. Thanks for your explain. Uh, so if this is the case, actually, uh, I, if I may add on, so actually I'm also kind of like want to know, okay, whatever that we, we teach our students uh, is a mixture of both content, contemporarily as well as a bit of the e-retailing side. But looking at the uh, big trend or the emerging trend of e-retailing all the way, so how is our students able to accommodate uh, to the knowledge you know, to, to use their knowledge, whatever that they learn uh, in, in our college and be able to apply onto the e-commerce platform. This is, I think, what uh, the participant was mentioning just now. Oh, okay, so um, like what I have explained before, um, student would actually they will go through like um for their practical side means that a lecturer will make them um to be familiarized with it like how does a actually an online platform that uh would allow um business owner or the employer to run their business online so therefore student will learn um, step by step like starting like how do they actually design the web page then after that it follow by um, how do they actually need to um, promote their page and then how do they actually um, to attract like more um, traffic people to come uh, over their web page and so on even though like the next time they are working with um, others employers um, let's uh, said about like Shopee. Shopee is an online business which they have in an apps and also an online uh, website for customer to shop on. So if let's say next time when student graduates, they they can carry all the practical uh, things that they have learned during their study uh, uh, study uh, pro uh, progression and then after that um, they are able to uh, work it on it. So not necessary just for contemporary retailing. Uh, just now, Kawai asked the questions on uh, whether do we have any uh, uh, the students have do students have to go for internship in this program and then we might uh, talk yeah. in detail about yes, this. For how do they choose their companies and what do, what, what, what would they learn or expect to learn from the internship? Okay, um, for diploma student, um, basically they will, no matter diploma or degree, they will go on for their internship. For diploma, um, they will go for internship like for 16 weeks. Um, they are allowed to choose uh, which company that they want. After that, um, we have our um, student services department will help them to um, ap apply it. So therefore, from the internship, basically students would apply what they have learned during their um, uni time uh, towards the company. And the company would also um, make them to have a better understanding about the realistic, how does it actually work. Um, Thank you we, very much, Xiaohui. Xiaohui, I have a question. Right? Okay. Uh, will, um, will a retail student, a management student be in demand uh, at the moment? Um, yes, actually, because business will still need to go on and then uh, in order to um, boost up the economy. Okay, I uh, understand we have a uh, Malaysian, they like to do a lot of uh, shopping and I believe there's some other, there's also other bigger type of company who also owns uh, chains of uh, shops or even restaurants, lah. okay? Yeah. Uh, I was just wondering whether this uh, trend 
you know, uh, trend will continue and why these uh, <laughs> students who studied um, retail management is so much more in demand because I understand some uh, of these companies, they also take students uh, which only study like a general business degree. You know, how, how do you think that could give an advantage to those students who take this program? Okay, like for retail management comparing with business management, business management basically student will be learning things that is um um kind of like more general. But for retail management, um student most of the time they will be learning things that is uh, more in that in that including that the student will need to learn things like um what is actually happening in supply chain management like what is it actually happening in uh the inventory side like where do they um actually uh, get the stock from then after that how do they actually cut costs then in order to earn uh, more profit on it beside that um, student would also learn how do they actually can design their store in order to have a uh, more space to be utilized because like each and every square foot it carries um as a part of the rental fees also like how do they actually maximize the space with minimum cost to earn more profit whereby uh for like um like general business management student they don't really learn into that in depth mm, okay Uh, Dr. Chuck, do you have anything else to share? Uh, no, thank you very much. Uh, actually, uh, Shelby has uh, managed to answer all the questions that so far we have posed uh, to her regarding uh, the, the, the retailing site. So I would tend to agree with Shelby by saying that actually uh, before a, a, com a company, you know, uh, should embark on the e-retailing, no matter what, they cannot run away from having a physical store. Uh, even, you know, uh, like uh, uh, companies like Alibaba, you know, even though they are they started their business uh, from the e-retailing uh, side, but still they have a physical store uh, set up everywhere in the world, even though it is uh, managed remotely, not having any uh, assist, not having any people managing the store. So, because the thing is that uh, contemporary retailing is the basis, you know, is the basis for all the retailing uh, industry to 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 blossom. So, therefore, uh, I would strongly believe that uh, e-retailing and contemporary retailing actually they complement each other. Uh, so, I don't see uh, e-retailing as a threat or even as a substitute to the contemporary retailing. Yeah, that is my. Uh, comment on this. Thank you. Okay. Uh, if there is no other uh, questions, right, uh, then we will just end this session. Is it all right? Hello? Yeah, if there's no question, I think that's all about from okay. me. Okay. Thank you for your time, shall we? 
Yeah, thank you everyone for listening. Thank you. Okay. Bye.